Accordance 12 Features. This podcast is at the basic level and requires no knowledge of Accordance Bible software, Hebrew, or Greek. Accordance 12 is here with a whole host of new features and improvements. More than ever, Accordance 12 is a simply brilliant way to study the Bible, prepare sermons, research papers, and design lectures. In this podcast, we'll only cover the features that are new or significantly improved in Accordance 12. If you're unfamiliar with Accordance, you may want to review all our software's features. If so, be sure to also view both of these other podcasts. Accordance 12 has five major new features. Stack, where we can save quotations, comments, pictures, notes, and ideas instantly into a collection of note cards for later use. Paper, a place to outline and compose sermons, lectures, lessons, or academic papers within Accordance. Improved Analytics, which allows us to dig deeper than ever into search results with improved graphics and interactive pie and bar charts. Research Analytics, which gives us the tools to analyze research results across, between, and among texts. And finally, Infopane, where five new categories help us to investigate faster than ever. Word list, study Bibles, grammars, manuscripts, and manuscript images. Let's take a look at each of these in turn. Stack The stack is a place to collect information and ideas for later use. With stacks, we can store all kinds of content. Citations, ideas, graphics, notes, or comments. Save information instantly with a click or a keystroke. Retain bibliographic information for each item. Reopen an item source with a simple click. Sort and resort items within a stack by topic, type of resource, date, or favorites. Drag and drop items into a paper or another stack. And finally, view and open stacks in the library under My Stuff. Each item in a stack is packed with information. Along the side, we have a header, which contains a verse reference, chapter, or article name a place to type personal comments, the citation itself, and its source, which we can click to reopen. Along the top, there's a delete button, a place to mark an item as a favorite, and a button to copy the information, header, comment, citation, and source, to our clipboard. The background color of the stack item indicates the type of source, and the date and time the item was added to the stack is displayed at the bottom right. Paper. Paper is a mini word processor built right into Accordance. It allows us to compose papers, sermons, articles, and lectures in Accordance. Use one of several different standard templates as a starting point or create and save custom ones. Drag and drop items from a stack to a paper, which then automatically creates endnotes and a bibliography. Add and edit material rearrange sections, subordinate or promote points, we can adjust at will. Paper's History button allows us to revert to any previous version. Choose which elements paper displays at any given time, add scripture references, and watch paper transform them into hypertext links automatically, and view and open papers in the library under My Stuff. Clicking New Paper brings up the Template Chooser, which offers us a wide variety of formats. Once we've chosen a template, it opens in its own tab. Paper features a number of new menus and buttons in the tab. From left to right, they are the display menu, which allows us to choose which paper elements to display, the history menu, which allows us to revert to a previous action, zoom, which changes the size of the items on the paper without actually changing the size of the font, open stack, which opens the current stack, though the tab can be switched to any stack once it's open, and the familiar action menu, which in this case allows us to rename the paper or even save it as a new template. Just below the tab are two items familiar to Accordance 11 users from the User Notes and User Notes Edit window. The Language menu, which allows us to switch languages and keyboard layouts quickly, and the Font Format bar. Other options appear only when the cursor is moved over them, keeping the paper free of clutter. Clicking an item displays a blue box, 
indicating the item can now be edited. Clicking the blank space around an outline point shows a light blue selection box. Shift clicking allows us to select multiple points. These are useful for copying large sections of material or making large scale font changes. Hover over an outline point to show the gear for item action menu, the arrows to promote or demote the outline point, and the disclosure triangle to hide or reveal subordinate material. Finally, hover over the bottom of the page and click Add New Item to add another element to the paper. Improved Analytics Accordance 12's Improved Analytics allow us to dig deeper than ever into our search results. Graphs and Charts both feature updated graphics. Hits and Analysis graphs now support zooming and panning. Pi and bar charts are now interactive. They support instant details, mouse hover effects, and clickable segments. Clicking on a segment analyzes that segment in a new graph. Filtered daughter searches in tag texts or parallel sister searches in key number texts. Shift clicking a segment for a tag text searches for the word in that text. And finally, clicking prior results returns to the previous graph. Research Analytics Accordance's research has allowed us to search across multiple texts and tools. Now, Research Analytics allows us to analyze research results across, between, and among texts. First, we can take advantage of all the improved analytics features. That includes zoomable hits and analysis graphs, interactive pie and bar charts, clickable segments, and prior results. Next, we can also view and analyze the combined search results of all texts, or we can compare hit results between or among texts. Infopane One of the most popular features of Accordance 11 has been the Infopane. With Accordance 12, we can now open and close it with a new toolbar button. More importantly, we've added five more information categories for a total of 10. A word list, which suggests words for study, study Bibles, which have now been split from commentaries, and three more categories for original language scholars, grammars, manuscripts, and manuscript images. These categories put more information than ever at our fingertips. Whether we're new to Bible study and working with a translation, or a scholar working with the original language text, the info pane now has more info and more. Accordance 12 also includes a host of other features and improvements. Here are my top six. Support for the new ETCBC tagged Hebrew text, formerly known as Wevu. It's built on a different linguistic theory than the Homestead Syntactical Database giving us two completely different ways of analyzing the syntax of the Hebrew Bible. Both the Accordance Atlas and the Timeline have had facelifts, giving them a cleaner look and, in the case of the Timeline, a new color palette. For those of you who are keyboard ninjas, Accordance 12 boasts a new preference pane, Customize Keyboard Shortcuts. It enables us to set our own keyboard shortcut for virtually any action in accordance. This feature will be especially helpful for those running utility programs when current accordance keyboard commands interfere with those programs. Windows users rejoice! Accordance 12 adds the ability to sync your mobile devices with your computers. This requires Bonjour, which is part of the iTunes installation. And if we haven't installed iTunes already, we can install Bonjour from within the program. Accordance 12 also includes support for resources with complex diagrams, like the new Genealogies of the Bible, available as part of the English Discoverer collection. Searching in the Accordance Library has some new features now, too. We can search for individual books within a canon to see which texts and tools include them. We can also search by module tags for content and for genre. There are lots of other smaller improvements in Accordance 12. Here's an even dozen of them. First, 
The info pane shows the author when possible, and it can automatically be added to search tabs, supports right-click to research a topic, and reuses panes when opening commentaries. Second, Research now supports custom groups. Just select Custom in the Research Group selection menu to quickly create a set of modules to search. Third, when conducting a topic search, Accordance now searches text for verses, but tools for the topic itself. That allows for a single comprehensive search. Fourth, text and tool citations can automatically place Accord links at the end of the quote. Fifth, Verse references in the Concordance tab can now be clicked and opened in a text pane. And sixth, triple clicking a term in the Analysis tab now triggers a smart analysis search. Seven, the Analytics button is now centered on the tab and available on the toolbar. Eight, text searches now have three separate options, all of which appear on the left side of the search entry box, Flex, Words, and Verses while tool searches feature two new buttons to the right of the search entry box. The magnifying glass toggles between flex and exact searches, the page between article and paragraph scopes. Nine, the toolbar has a new default set, as well as additional buttons for analytics, info pane, stack, and paper. 10, Unicode text now retains its styles when pasted in accordance, as for example in a user note. 11. A new simple bibliographic style is available that just includes the tool name for easy casual referencing. And 12. The main tool pop-up menu has been reorganized to show related items at the top. Ready to step up to Accordance 12? The new features make it a must-have upgrade. Remember that Accordance 12 is included with a purchase of any English or Greek and Hebrew collection, even the starter collection. Just visit us at accordancebible.com or talk to one of our friendly sales staff at 407-339-5855. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.